Hello everyone, today it's Monday and it's time for another short tip or tutorial slash hack slash idea slash suggestion video. And today it's about finding better compositions in the forest, in the outdoors, in nature, in travel photography, whatever type of photography that involves being in the outdoors. Step one would be to find a role like is this behind me. And the first thing that you do, and 90% of the photographers, this is what they do, they stand in the middle of the road or the trail in the forest and just shoot uh, straight ahead. Now this is not a bad composition and portrays symmetry or you can portray separation and it looks something like this. As I told you, it's not a bad composition, but how can we improve this? First of all, we can move to the left or to the right depending on the situation. And this way we create a stronger line that also fills the frame better. As you can see, the second composition is better. The line is stronger and fills the frame better. But what can we do to further improve this? Is improving the line itself, the actual leading line. And this means finding a line that it's twisted or has the famous S shape or it's zigzag. So here's the road that has that S shape, that zigzag, the twist itself that helps the eye go into the image and explore the photo more. Walls and mountains divide us And now for the final tip, how can we further improve this composition is to search for a particular S shape. And I like to have a longer first part of the S shape because I think in my opinion, this helps better lead the eye into the composition. It's a small tip, but I think it's very useful and I think this breaks down the entire mystery that's about trails and roads into the forest and in nature and how to use as shapes, as composition leading lines. I hope you like this video, I hope you'll find it useful, ask questions, say your opinion, say whatever you want, just be polite, use the comment section below and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're here for the first time. And what else? Until next time, keep on photographing, it's the only way you can get better. Bye bye.